So in semester one, uh, in total, I had eight courses. It's a lot, I know, but we have to manage it. So we were having eight courses, namely what was Aerospace CAD, Aerospace Fundament. Hi everyone, this is Jagdar Singh here, and I'm pursuing Aerospace Engineering from St. Indian College. And in this video, we're going to break down like what is it like to be studying Aerospace Engineering in Canada. And we'll be talking in detail about what were all the subjects that we were taught in semester one specifically we are going to break this video into two parts part one and part two because i'm talking something of which is of my interest and i do not want to rush into the things so that's the reason so let's roll in so first of all because like every children in his childhood, he is very fascinated about aeroplanes, rockets, and everything like that. I clearly remember most of the children in their childhood they want to become astronauts. I do not know from where they have learned that uh, term, but still, they. I am also one of them, and I was really very. I am fascinated about rockets and planes. So I, after my plus two, after my twelfth grade, I started researching about the colleges and universities, those who were teaching these fields. So that's the reason I came up with Centennial College because it's a good college. So that's the reason. So now, as you all know, aerospace engineering in itself is a very vast domain. Like there are different uh, specifications. We do have aerodynamics, propulsion, ballistics. Then we have avionics, navigation system and everything like that. So particularly my field of expertise that which I am studying right now is designing and manufacturing field. We are being taught about um, aerodynamics, structural designing, material sciences and the other one is manufacturing. So my name of the course that I am currently enrolled in St. Indian College is Aerospace Manufacturing Engineering Technology and it is a three-year advanced diploma. So in semester one, uh, in total, I had eight courses. It's a lot, I know, but we have to manage it. So we were having eight courses, namely what was Aerospace CAD, Aerospace Fundamentals, Electric Circuits and Systems, CAM CNC, then we do have um, Technological Mathematics, College Communications, Energy and Environmental Studies, and the last one was Machine Shop. So this was a bunch of uh, courses that we were taught. So let's move on to the first one, that is Aerospace CAD. In Aerospace CAD, uh, we were majorly focused on a software which is SOLIDWORKS. Although it is not that much extensively used in the industry, but it is really a very good point to start your 3D modeling experience in Canada. In North America, SOLIDWORKS is used in a number of companies and it is a 3D software in which you can structure, you can do structural analysis, you can make 3D parts and you can analyze the, their tolerances. So as a final test that we were supposed to give in the semester one, it is actually CSWA and the CSW stands for Certified Solid Works Associate and this is certification which is directly being offered by Dissolve Systems. Dissolve Systems is actually the parent company which has made this software. So in that you have to minimally score 70% of the marks in order to get the certificate and I was fortunate enough to get that. So uh, now I do have proper CWA certification which is really very helpful if I want to purchase you a career in this same 3d modeling so and talking about the final project that we did in the solidworks so we have made a particular detailed 3d designing of a drone that is hexarotor drone so the propellers of the hexarotor drones that we were that we made were detailed like anything those were aerodynamically detailed like that could be one of the very good project that we did this is the field which I was talking about earlier, that is avionics field. And in this course, we were taught the basic concepts of um, electronics, like very basics like resistors and how to get the resistance of the wire using DMM and everything like that. So it was very basic and easy. We had two classes in the week, 
in the first two class we were taught all the theoretical subjects and in the all the theoretical concepts like resistance and stuff like that and in the another class we were taught the practical hands-on experience with the big big machines like dmm and everything like that this is fundamentals personally it was my favorite subject and uh, it was further categorized into three fields like it was fixed wing rotary wing and the third one was uav that is unmanned aerial vehicles and uav in the uav segment we were taught how to fly drones and all the specifications regarding uavs uh, like their applications in the in the real world uh, companies and uh, practical hands-on experience then second we were taught what are all the components that are required to manufacture a drone in particular like from batteries to everything like that and the second one that is rotary wing we were taught what is the functioning of a helicopter like we were all the students were taken to the hangar in order to show them the helicopters and all the functioning like we do have cycling pedals how it all thing works and especially how the propeller of the helicopter works because obviously we do have tail rotors and the major main propeller of the helicopters so we have learned all these things in the rotary wing and talking about the fixed wing which is furthermore my favorite one we were asked to model a company uh, and we were given a order to manufacture an aircraft like it was not an actual aircraft but it was a model wooden model of an aircraft and we were asked to prepare logo for our company and to come up with the company name and particularly i have named my company as united federation of aerospace because this was what i can think of so that's the reason I made a proper logo and we have built a proper model like we from manufacturing to aero sending the wooden parts then to skinning uh, operation so that's the thing and we were asked to prepare the gang chart in order to take all the details into consideration and in order to track the timeline of the project that is going on so that was one of my favorite projects that we did in semester one college communication it is another name for english so it was a bit okay subject for me because personally i have not liked it that much because it was not related to our major subject it was not one of our major subjects so that's the reason we are burning a lot of fuel to get into space so how can we sustainable this process of getting into space or maybe how can we make more efficient airplanes by burning a lot less fuel by changing the whole together.